start her up. So here we are at the Summonad's car meet. Today's Saturday. We have over 300 cars coming. And I got my Impala. Catch up. She was 15 by her dad, so it was a dad's car. She had it from when she was 15, and that she was retiring and she wanted to downsize. And her husband had something a bit more practical, and uh, she was looking for someone to be the custodian of the car, someone who'd love it and drive it and care for it. And uh, we became friends by talking on the phone, and she let me buy the car. <laughs> no, <laughs> a lady never discusses her age or money. What's going on, bro? You were saying something? Hey! Were you saying I've, something? I've watched your video and I loved it yesterday. It was so cool. See, I see myself very much as the custodian of this car. I'm not the owner. My job is to keep it happy and safe and running the way it needs to for as long as I can until I find the next person who's the custodian. But right now I'm having so much fun that no one else is allowed to drive it. <laughs> so is this your normal day, Kurt? Special occasion. Special occasion. So how, uh, how long did it take you to uh... 10 year build. Shell was bought in 2000. 10 year build on the road in 2013. Then pulled the motor out, rent, put a new motor in it, it's been back on the road ever since. Oh, yeah. Project cost in excess of 100,000. Drew! I've got one more. You're a work of art to yourself, aren't you? Thank you. All over, huh? What's the engine with that? So what you, uh, what are you doing there? Just putting a few pretties in there just to make it look a bit nicer. Is that why you do it? No, I just enjoy it. I'm an enthusiast. This is what enthusiasts do, mate. I like being in the surroundings of other like-minded people and being in a position to be able to show up the car. So what is it called? Jane. Jane Austen. I like the Chevy um, bow tie in the gold detail. We do. We, we're normally in the summer nats and the summer nats cruise every year, but of course with the Q being a little bit different. So we take the opportunity to let everyone else appreciate the car as much as we do. Tonight, hoons and cowards. ACT police slam dangerous driving and rowdy street gatherings, warning the culprits will be caught. Good evening, Nada Gilmore with ABC News. Exhibition Park may be silent this year with the cancellation of Summonats, but on Canberra's streets last night it was chaos. Police were forced to break up large gatherings of hoons in Braddon and Fishwick. The back window of a police car was smashed as the unruly crowd turned on officers. No arrests have been made, but investigations are continuing. Rosie King reports. <laughs> 
selfish, dangerous and cowardly beyond belief. That's how ACT police have described the hoons involved in last night's takeover of the city. It just amazes me at the stupidity of some people. Social media was filled with videos of rev heads converging on Braddon's busiest street. By 8 o'clock, police had shut them down. Then a number of hours later, uh, a lot of the same people reappeared out in Fishwick. The scenes there were even worse. Burnouts and excessive drinking. Police also allege some in the crowd became unruly toward them. And police made a decision to sort of withdraw themselves from the situation and reassess what was going on. And as they were, uh, as they were leaving, a, a beer bottle was thrown through the back window of one of the police cars. No one has been charged yet. We've got number plates, we've got dates and times, so the drivers who are involved in those sorts of things can expect to be visited by police. Over the border, New South Wales police are investigating a gathering of 60 cars at Eaglehawk in Sutton. The crowd left as soon as police showed up, but there's concerns they may have breached the state's COVID-19 restrictions. There's a gathering order that says outdoor gatherings have to be 30 people. Um, depending on the nature of the gatherings, they may be in breach. Last night's chaos in Canberra caught ACT police off guard. Especially after the family-friendly car parades that have rolled down Northbourne Avenue in recent days. They were organised as an alternative to summer nats, which was cancelled due to COVID-19. They don't think it's an episode of the Fast and the Furious. They're actual genuinely, genuine motoring enthusiasts, not a bunch of hoons or cowards who think they can just take over our city streets. And to anyone thinking of terrorising Canberra streets again tonight, the message is clear. Don't. Rosie King, ABC News, Canberra. Any good shots? Oh, yeah, I'm getting some great shots, yeah. yeah what do you think? Awesome. Today, really amazing. good. What do you think? Oh, it's a good turnout, eh? Isn't it? Great turnout. Yeah, yeah. Have you, uh, how many days have you been here? One. One huh? This is it. So what do you think? It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's most impressed you? Which one? Me mate's car. <laughs> There's a bit of story behind this one. This is my mum's. It was originally a camper car and she left Yasu, oh, she Yasu. when she was up at Yasu. Central Coast. Yasu to you too. Oh. This is Kevin. Who owns the blue one? This is my daughter Bonnie. Who owns this one? Sue. Hey, well done. Hey, you're the youngest. You should be ah. <laughs> What are you doing? You've been here all week. Sorry? Tell me about your car. I don't know much about <laughs> <laughs> it. My dad built it for me. Is that right? Dad does it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a spray painter. So I painted this one. Yeah. And um, yeah, I bought this bought four of these and built one out of three, and I got one more to do for my other daughter. Kitty, what are you doing? Love for it, passion. Have you passed it on to the kids? The this passion? One? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they absorb it. <laughs> and what about this one? Did you, did you do his car too? Not yet. No. That one? Yeah. yeah that, no, that's my car. It's uh, hey, going, first Good registered in Australia, first owner to register in Australia, 2012. So, yeah, it is what it is. It's a good old taxi. It's a taxi, is it? Well, that's what they called the two tens back in the day. They're the, they're the poor man's model, not the Bel Air. That was the rich man's model. <laughs> so we can pull on traffic bikes and talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, mine's left-hand drive, his is right-hand drive. <laughs> So you're friends too, are you? Yeah. 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 You guys have to look at the back window, we've got yeah. sixes and sevens. Sixes and sevens. Two fifty sixes and there's a fifty seven that's part of the family. But it's got an engine issue at the moment, so it's not here. Same colour blue. Same, yeah, same. Built in Australia, built in the US. So built in Australia, yes. Yeah. It's factory right hand drive. So today's a very special day, isn't it? Yep, it turned out to be a good day, isn't it? 
Yeah, a lot of cars here. Something started this week. Yeah. Look, this is unbelievable crowd. Yeah. It's a good turnout for the Clayton Summonats cruise. <laughs> have you been here any other days? No, no, I've really been here every day. Yeah. You can tell the ones that have been here every day, they've got all the colour stickers, stickers on. Three dots. Yeah. So, why would you come every day? Because I'm on holidays. <laughs> and you call this holiday, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's touching you, you're just sitting in your car. Yeah, we have driven that garage. Is there another door to listen? No point paying all this money for them and they're not driven. So. so is it an everyday car? It can be. Is yours? I can't keep it registered every day. Yeah. What about yours? Is that an everyday car? No, no, no. I can drive it every day, but I don't drive it every day. So. <laughs> What's today been like for you guys? Yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Yeah, it's been a good day, gorgeous weather. And this is your car? This is my one, yep. Yeah. A uh, 77 HZ Premier. Sorry, 77? HZ Premier. Uh, came from Mildura back in uh, September 77, it was first sold. And uh, yeah, she's a cracker. And what about you? I got a 1993 Ford Laser hatchback. Very nice old car, bulk stock standard. And do you drive the bike? Uh, I got 12 motorbikes myself. I have a Harley, yes. I've had the Harley for 23 years. <laughs> so you prefer Harleys to bike cars? Uh, any, anything old, bikes or cars, I don't care. If it's nice, I'll turn up and say, well, <laughs> that's a nice car or that's a nice bike. I, I can go either way, yeah. yeah. What about the turn up today? Uh, turn up is uh, very good, very good today. Uh, sun's out, nice and warm, and I'm starting to get a bit thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> it's certain magic. It does, it does. I mean, there's there's so much passion just put into all these cars here. It's just, you know, a lot of people have spent hours. A lot of people have spent their money as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of people wouldn't understand why they would spend hundreds, of, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars on can four wheels. Can you understand why or not? I can, I can, I can. You know, it's, it's I call it a, um, it's a passion, I think. It's just that's all it is. It's a passion. It's a love for automotive. It's a, it's a it's a beautiful thing, and not a lot of people can understand that, except you know people who are passionate about automobiles, about cars, and using their two hands to you know put something like this together. It's a magician's trick, I think. That's what we've included in last in last night's video. Uh -huh. The magicians, mm. together with their cars, they create this magic. It's incredible, isn't it? And just. In, Put such smiles on people's faces. For sure. For sure. The, um, the other thing is, I've been filming older people mm -hmm. uh, and they've put their whole lives into it, you know? Uh -huh. And now you're a young person, so mm -hmm. I'm getting a young person's comment. <laughs> now. Which is your favourite? Oh, that's a good question. I, I like the modern modern muscle. So there's a W1 HSB, um, HSB GTSR, I think that's, that's what it's called there, the orange. HSB back there and it's just it's beautiful and um, there were a very small amount of numbers made for them which means they're quite valuable at the moment you know when someone bought the same car for $130,000 they're worth about one hundred sixty dollars now we're talking 24 months so it's just it's remarkable yeah. 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 How many? Oh, over a hundred easy uh, it was over 100 yesterday. Yeah. I think it's 300. Yeah. Yeah. 250. Yeah. So, what a crazy way to spend Saturday. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this horn from 1915. What from, year are you from? I'm from Czech Republic. Yeah, from what Europe. year? 1990. 1990. Yeah. I came all the way to Australia with my Impala that came from America. Impala came from Arizona. I came from Czech Republic. And I'm in Australia. What a combination. It's beautiful, isn't it? But that's what the world does. It brings various components together. And it's expressed in the cars, isn't it? Yes, it is. Everybody adds their own custom touch to it. So I decided that I wanted to get inspired by the Mexican lowrider scene and do lace work and paint various components. You can see here, for example, there's a bit of a 3D effect going on there with the lace work that I did with a bit of silver and gold and uh, 
painted up all these lines. So it's a work in progress. I do a lot of research, use different materials. And if it doesn't turn out well, I just rub it back and start again. It's like a canvas. It's a blank canvas at the moment. Beautiful canvas, huh? You've got such a sense of humor. No, not really. The reaction you get from people. Oh, definitely. It's because it's so unique. You know, my car has so many unique components about it. When you open the boot, when you open the bonnet, when you look in the interior, everything's like out of place. So. Look at the cars. Cool. Cool. Thumbs up. Which is your favorite? The pink one. This one here. This one here. <laughs> the pink one, huh? <laughs> tell me about it. What do you think about it? Tell me about the car. Get close to the car and tell me. Tell me. What do you think about the car? Do you think it'd be loud? Next what, what about the wheels? Tell me, look at the wheels. Are they fancy? Uh, I've got a VLBT1 factory um, turbo. I've had it for approximately 10 years or so now. Um, it's fairly original. Only done a few little modifications here and there. Um, both my girls absolutely love driving in it, as myself. Cruising whenever we can, get the chance, opportunity. Yeah, it's great. It's we love it. Yeah. And how far is it away? Um, it's just over here in the South Park. Yeah. So you're not going to be in the procession? No. Yeah. no. But we're coming for the cruise anyway. If we can get in behind on the tail, it'll be good. Yeah. It's a very special day, isn't it? It's a beautiful day out here. It's like lots of nice people. Yeah, it's good. It's nice to see the local people out with yeah. their cars still. Yeah, it's great. And their dogs. And Don't forget their dogs. Their dogs. <laughs> That's it. And Sienna. Sienna. Hey, Sienna. Tell me about Sienna now, huh? If she was a car, what kind of car would she be? Bumblebee. A bumblebee. Bumblebee? I think I saw a couple of those. <laughs> That's not a bumblebee. That's a tiger. She thinks that the yellow cars are transformers. She thinks that they're bumblebees. Hello, Andy. How are you? Good, he's leading us out, mate. He led us out day one and he's leading us again. 50 k's max. Go 40. Go 40 all the way up there. Hey, bud. Do I, do I have records of what?
from you. <laughs> so tell me the other side of uh, uh, what it's like having a car. Oh, this well, I just broke down, so I'm not really impressed. Yeah, yeah. So it needs an alternator, I think. That's what it is. It's not charging here. Yeah, the battery's not taking charge. So you uh, you put it together? We did, yeah. yeah. Who's we? Oh, uh, me and a bunch of mates and, yeah. a, and a few local mechanics here worked on the car. Ah, uh, far around. It was a big show day, and of course you, you can't. Yeah, I was looking forward to the drive. So what are you going to do? I'm waiting for my brother-in-law to come with some uh, jumping cables. If we can't start, it'll have to put on the tow truck. I might jump out.
across Canberra and its surrounding regions. This is Wing News. Police investigating a spate of hooning and dangerous driving. Police are scouring social media to try to identify those responsible for a series of unauthorised cruises and burnouts across Canberra. Hundreds of spectators gathered at a range of sites to watch the rev heads tearing up roads and endangering lives. Summer Nats was cancelled this year, but that didn't stop some car fanatics from putting their pedals to the metal. It's a, a cohort of people who, who coordinate themselves and gather through social media. Um, in deliberate attempts to, to, as I said, take over public streets and perform dangerous road manoeuvres. Police say hundreds of people gathered to watch dangerous displays on public roads over the weekend. There was uh, some incidents of some poor driving and some hoon-like behaviour on uh, Friday night and uh, police responded to that and, uh, and in the process of our response to that a, a bottle was thrown through the window. <laughs> There was even more dangerous driving in Braddon, Fishwick, Hume and Eagle Hawk on Saturday. With crowds growing so large, extra officers had to be brought in to assist. The nature and the size of it caught us quite by surprise here. Two vehicles allegedly involved have been seized and the drivers could be facing charges as police issue a stark reminder of just how dangerous driving like this can be. You'll see people doing burnouts surrounded by vehicles within, within touching distance and all that has to happen is that vehicle gains traction for a millisecond and all of a sudden you're going to have five or six people run over, uh, serious injuries and possible deaths. The investigation helped along by some of the hoons themselves who just can't resist posting videos from the weekend. And when they put them up on social media, they give us a date, time and a place where the offence is committed. Liza Watson, Win News. Charges likely to be laid after a weekend of dangerous and antisocial driving in Canberra. And who think they live in an episode of Fast and the Furious and think it's OK to take over city streets and perform dangerous road manoeuvres. ACT police say charges will be laid against hoons who took over some Canberra streets over the weekend. Investigations into dangerous driving, excessive drinking and abuse towards police are ongoing. But with so much footage of the antisocial behaviour on social media, police say they're confident they'll be able to track down many of the culprits. If it has wheels, it can do a burnout. It was stunts like this over the weekend that left police reeling. They're still looking for the person who threw a bottle through the window of a police car. There's a collection of people who think that their, uh, who, their driving abilities uh, exceed, or their, their expectations of their driving ability well and surely exceeds what they can actually do and who think they live in an episode of Fast and the Furious. Police say if the e-scooter company decides to pursue charges, then finding the culprits won't be difficult. With so much footage recorded by bystanders and uploaded to social media, it's just a matter of time before they're identified. A number of reports and information through crime stoppers from members of the public in relation to identifying offenders involved in that and, the, and there's people who are involved in that can uh, expect to be receiving a visit from us at some stage soon. Two cars have been seized and could be held for up to 90 days if it's the owner's first offence. If they're repeat offenders, the vehicles could be forfeited to the Territory. Police say the owners will be charged regardless. Well, they can expect significant fines, either through a traffic infringement notice or, or coming before the court. Several people have already been fined, but so far no charges have been laid. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News, Canberra.